Hi guys, how are you? I'm so happy to see you. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Elizabeth Reimer and I am the director of Freedom Public Library in New Hampshire. And today is gardening slash flower story time. So all about growing things. Have you been out in your garden recently? So we got a lot of great pictures of you guys participating in story time last week. Thank you so much for sending them to me. Please send me more. You can follow the directions in the notes down below. I want to give a shout out to Amelia. Oh my gosh, your bear looks so happy. Anna and Abby laughing at Miss Elizabeth still in bed. Ashton, I, I love how you made the black part of the ears into sunglasses. So cool. And here's Bennett, Margaret, Eleanor, Violet, and Caroline, and the baby, Michael. So good to see all of you together. Colin has all three, his bear, his fox friend, and he's in his pajamas. Darla, Bo, Piper, and Elsie have some great looking bears. Here's Evan. I see Douglas the donkey. I remember him. Here's Haley looking adorable. And here's Addie, Aria, and the baby Anarita by their favorite rock in their yard. Here's Harper. Harper's going back a little bit to earlier story times and catching up. Here's Jack and Josie with their favorite stuffies. Jaden, yay, good to see you, guy. Here's Laura, Anna, and Molly. They made their own bears because they don't live nearby and they cut them out themselves. Here's Lily being silly. Rachel did her own thing with this bear. I love it. Here's River and Ravine. Hi, guys. And here's Tessa dancing. That's so cool. Are you guys dancing when, when I'm dancing? I hope so. I also want to give a shout out to Calvin and Emmett. Hi, guys. How you doing? All right, before we go any further, let's sing our story time song. Sit down, it's story time, and we are going to have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone. I like to see your eyes grow bright, I like to see you smile. Cause you're all growing up so fast, let's share this little while. So sit down, it's story time, and we're gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone. Listen, everyone. My first story in gardening story time is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. It's by Kate Messner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Up in the garden, I stand and plan my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there? I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. There's a caterpillar and a snail. And what's that? Can you see a ladybug? There's some ants. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. I see three chickens. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in, in plated suits of armor roly-poly round. That's what we call them, roly-polies. Have you ever seen those? I see a bunny. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says, and we pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. 
I don't like those insects. They, they eat up my tomatoes. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout. Pea blossoms bloom. Wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit. Legs loaded with pollen. I see some worms. Those are good in your garden. I weed and wilt in the sun so strong even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Ah! Look, the robin has how many babies? Can you see? Four babies ready to have that worm. They all want it first. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. It's a chipmunk. So much to see in this book. You'll have to check it out sometime and look at all the pictures really closely to see what you see. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. That's a good thing. Nana cr crunches green beans, and I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Mm. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Eee, I don't think I want to eat that. But the robin does, and so do her babies, I bet. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But, snap, someone else is faster. Who is it? Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Everybody's hungry. Up in the garden, the wind cold grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Well, they made a little fort of sunflowers. How cool. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Look, there's so many ants carrying stuff in their tunnels. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Oh, there go the seeds. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and, sp and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. Look at them, they're all cuddled up together, those earthworms. What a nice book. And in the back, 
there's all these information about some of those animals and insects that we got to see earlier. I can borrow this book sometime. Speaking of ants, here are some ants. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. I love these little ants. They're so cute. Uh-oh. He wanted to get away. Five hungry ants marching in a line. They came across a picnic and thought that they would dine. They marched across the sandwich. They marched across the cake. They marched across the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Uh, 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 shoo! How many are left? Four hungry ants. Can you say this with me? Four hungry ants marching in a line. They came across a picnic and thought that they would dine. They marched across the sandwich. They marched across the cake. They marched across the pepper. Ready? Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Uh, 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 choo! How many are left? Three hungry ants marching in a line came across a picnic and thought that they would dine. They marched across the sandwich. They marched across the cake. They marched across the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Uh, 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 choo! Two hungry ants marching in a line. They came across a picnic and thought that they would dine. They marched across the sandwich. They marched across the cake. They marched across the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Ah, uh, ready? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You should use your elbow. Choo! There's only one ant left. I guess it's marching in a line all by itself. One hungry ant marching in a line. She came across a picnic and thought that she would dine. She marched across the sandwich. She marched across the cake. She marched across the pepper. Ooh, uh oh, that was a mistake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Choo! No more ants. All right, ready to sing a song? The gardener plants the seeds. The gardener plants the seeds. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the gardener plants the seeds. Can you plant your seeds? The rain falls on the ground. The rain falls on the ground. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the rain falls on the ground. The sun shines bright and warm. The sun shines bright and warm. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the sun shines bright and warm. The seeds begin to grow. The seeds begin to grow. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the seeds begin to grow. There are veggies everywhere. There are veggies everywhere. Hi ho the dairy o oh, there are veggies everywhere. Mmm. What's your favorite vegetable? Mine in the garden. I like cucumbers, they taste so good. Mm. All right, can you do this one with me? We'll do it twice, all right? See if you can follow along. This is my garden, where's your garden? This is my garden, I'll rake it with care. I'm gonna use me these three fingers. I'll rake it with care. And then some flower seeds I'll plant in there. The sun will shine, the rain will fall, and my flowers will blossom and grow straight and tall. Ooh. Mine's a sunflower. What kind of flower is yours? All right, let's do it again. This is my garden. I'll rake it with care. And then some flower seeds I'll plant in there. The sun will shine. The rain will fall. And my flowers will blossom and grow straight and tall. Mine are zinnias this time. What about yours? All right, one more. Ready? Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands down on the ground. Put your hands in the middle and spin them round and round. Put your elbows to the front. Put your elbows to the back. Put your elbows to the sides and quack, quack, quack. I love that one. Do you? So now comes the part of our story time where we sing about you. 
Have a look at what you're wearing today. What are you wearing? What you got on? I've got my flower skirt on for gardening story time. Do you like it? Let's sing about my flower skirt. Elizabeth's wearing her flower skirt, her flower skirt, her flower skirt. Elizabeth's wearing her flower skirt all day long. Please take a bow. And now we have a couple of special guests also to do sing about them. And if you would like to be a special guest for a future story time, just send me an email and we'll schedule an appointment, okay? So here are Rylan and Emerson, and they are going to sing about themselves. What are you wearing today, Emerson? My blue, my blue sweater. Blue sweater, okay. Everybody ready to sing about Emerson's blue sweater? Emerson's wearing her blue sweater, her blue sweater, her blue sweater. Emerson's wearing her blue sweater all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! What about you? Come on, clap for your sister, Rylan. Yay! Okay, Rylan, what about you? What are you wearing today? My Harley Davidson hat. Harley Davidson hat, okay. Rylan's wearing his Harley Davidson hat, his her his Harley Davidson hat, his Harley Davidson hat. Rylan's wearing his Harley Davidson hat all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Thank you guys. I can see you're busy in the garden. I'll see you soon. Okay. This is one of my favorite stories to read out loud. It's called I Am a Donkey by C.C. Bell. It has vegetables in it, that's why I chose it. I am a donkey. What did you say? I am a donkey. The proper way to say that is I am a donkey. You is a donkey too? You is a funny looking donkey. No, I am a yam. You are the one who said I am a donkey. Oh, so you is a donkey. You just said so. Let's hear your hee-haw, donkey. No, no, no. You are a donkey. I am a yam. You is a yam? I am confused because I know I heard you say I am a donkey. Don't say yam. It's am. Am, am, am. Okay. So what you are saying is that you is a donkey, right? No, I am not a donkey. And it's not you is, it's you are. You are, you are, you are. You sure, you sure you is a donkey? Cause that's not like any hee-haw I ever heard. I am not a donkey, I am a yam. I am confused. First you say, I am a donkey, and then you say, I am a yam. Hee-haw, yammy yam, yammy yam a ding dong, <laughs> whatever you is, you is silly. Ugh. I have never said I yam in my entire life. Hee-haw, you just did. <laughs> so, what is you then? Oh, good grief. It's not what is you, it's what are you. Where, what are you, what are you, what are you? Hey, what's going on? Is that your hee-haw? Who oh, you is the weirdest donkey. Listen, donkey, I am a yam. I am, it's not I yam, it's I am. And you are a donkey, it's not you is, it's you are. Huh? And they, the vegetables say, looks like a big fight about, about grammar. Let me explain, donkey. Look here. I am, you are, he is, she is, they are, we are, is you trying to tell me that I am not the only donkey here? That you and all them other critters is donkeys too? Huh, I need to get my eyes checked. Oh, for Pete's sake, look. I am a yam, you are a donkey, 
He is a carrot, she is a turnip, they are green beans. Except for you, we are not critters, we are vegetables. Oh, you is lunch. Chomp. Moral, if you is going to be eaten, good grammar don't matter. Hee-haw, where's that silly donkey at? I am going to miss him. Hmm. I am a donkey. So now we're gonna do some music. Everybody get up, don't leave me hanging here. I don't wanna be the only one dancing, okay? I'm so happy that the Cat's Pajamas singing group gave us permission to use their music in our story time. In fact, Janet Schneider, who is the lead singer of this group, was so nice. She sent me two DVDs and two CDs that we can share, that I can share with you guys when we open again. Anyway, thank you so much, Janet. And I know you're in one of these songs, but this is a new one for us. It's called Grandma Moses, and it's an echo song. So after it gets started, she'll sing something, and then we'll sing it, okay? And we do some dancing, too. If you have a shaker, you can do it, because it's shaking your hands and shaking them down low. You could use a shaker if you wanted to, but I'm not going to, and you don't have to either.
glasses on. I've got my sunglasses on. She's got a long silk scarf wrapped around her neck. Our last book is called In My Garden, and it's by Ward Shoemaker. It's a counting book. Look at all the numbers. In My Garden. In my garden, I have one watering can, two pots for planting, Three flowers dancing. Whee! Four shady, what are those? Trees, four shady trees. Five stones for stepping. One, two, three, four, five. Four of them are asleep, but that one's not. Wake up, everybody. There are six fat worms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, there are. One of them's wearing glasses. There's seven singing birds. Eight bees a buzzing. 
What are those? Yes, nine butterflies. And 10 snails late for dinner. I've never seen a purple snail, but now I have 10 of them. In my garden, I grow 20 weeping onions. Mm, weeping, that's another word for crying. <laughs> There's 30 purple grapes. How many have glasses on, can you see? I see three. And do you see somebody else? One with a hat. 40 crabby apples. 50 cherries for pies I'll bake. Mmm, can I have some? That sounds good. 233 plump little peas. Wow, do you think you could count them all? I see some glasses. Here's another one with glasses. And another one here. Three, those three pairs of glasses again, and I see some hats, and look, that one has a little bit of hair. You probably can't see it, but it's true, and you can borrow this book and look at it closer, and if you want to count all those peas, this page will help you count them yourself. Look, they have numbers right on them. One, two, three, four, five. Should I count them all? I'm not gonna. There's 233, that one down there. Ooh. In my garden, there are so many things I can count on to make me happy in my garden. So today we have two different things we're gonna do during craft time. The first is to make this pretty flower. If you got some supplies from the library, you got a flower-shaped foam piece, a big fat popsicle stick, and some tissue paper. It'll look like this when we're all done. You're gonna need some glue. So we're just gonna take a piece of tissue paper and in the middle, Gonna make a flat part in the middle and put some glue on the flat part. And just put it on our flower like that. Just gonna put them all around like that. I don't know if it's easier to put the glue on the flower itself or to put the glue on the tissue paper. I'm gonna do it the tissue paper way. But you get to decide and you get to decide what color patterns you wanna do, and how many that you wanna put on there. I think I wanna cover mine completely. Do you think it looks good so far? Look. I should have done this first because it's gonna be hard to glue it on there when it's got all this other stuff on it. So back up, back up, and let's put some glue on the stick. Ta-da, and let's see. I guess that wasn't that hard, that's fine. Whenever you do it is fine. All right, where was I? I like it, do you? So now we're going to plant some seeds. It'll take a while for them to flower, but if you take good care of them, maybe you can take a picture of your flowers when they do bloom. These are zinnias, my favorite flower, and the variety is Big Tetra. And they're mixed colors, so it's going to be a surprise what color you get. To do this, it's probably a good idea to get some newspaper because of the dirt. So if you got some stuff from us, you'll have some dirt and a pot and a bag of seeds. Okay, I'm gonna put the dirt in the pot. I'm gonna push it down a little to get it good and firm in there because when the water comes in, it'll compress the soil together and make it shrink down. So you should have a lot of soil in there. And now I'd like you to go and get it good and wet, all right? Water it. I'm not going to do that because I don't have water right here. So there should be three seeds for every kid. And they're tiny. So I'm gonna pour them out so I can see them better. There's my three seeds. So I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna just lay them on the top right now. Hey, there's a bug right here. Huh, hi, buggy. So I'm gonna put three, 
three seeds like that and then I'm just gonna push them down a little bit. Just a little bit like that and then cover them over with some soil like that. So the seeds should be covered but not really deep but not really on the surface either. So about like that. And then maybe all three will come up, maybe two will come up, maybe one will come up, but you really only have enough room for one flower in this pot. So if you have three, you should pull two out. You may be able to put them in another pot and grow them there, or you just throw them away. But don't let three of them try to grow in one pot or they won't grow well, okay? That's hard when you have to pull plants out that are doing so well. I don't know if you can see this, but there's just a little, oh, there he is, a little bug. Came to say hello and to help me plant these beautiful zinnias. So take good care of your zinnias, keep them nice and moist, and put them in the sunshine when they start to grow. And then eventually you can put them in the outside, you should put them out in the yard, okay? You can put these peat pots, you can put directly into the ground if you want to. This part will decompose and the roots will grow out of it and the plant will go grow straight and tall. I'm looking forward to summer and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Please join me for story time next week and I'll see you then. Bye.